This problem is to, or this review is for assigning RNS stereochemistry to molecules. We're just going to do several examples, starting with <clears throat> some that are on the easy side, and then doing some trickier ones. So for this first molecule, which is 2-bromobutane, what you do always when you assign stereochemistry is first prioritize the substituents attached to the chiral carbon. And the priority is done by the weight of the atom that's directly attached to the carbon. So it's not the overall weight of the whole entire substituent, it's just the weight of the attached atom. In this case, we're going to be comparing the weight of hydrogen atom to a carbon, not a CH3, but a carbon, a bromine, and another carbon. Bromine is the heaviest of these atoms, and hydrogen is the lightest. So bromine is the highest priority substituent, and hydrogen is the lowest priority substituent. For these two substituents, both of them have a carbon directly attached, so they're tied. In that case, what you do is you look at the atoms that are attached to that. Look at the atoms that are attached to this carbon, look at the atoms that are attached to this carbon, and you find which one has the heaviest atom attached. This carbon has three hydrogens attached. This carbon has two hydrogens and a carbon attached. The carbon is heavier, so it is higher priority. We then look at the arrangement of the substituents 1, 2, and 3, ignoring substituent number 4. Ideally, you would have substituent number 4 in the back position on the dash. We don't have that in this case. When substituent number 4 is in the back position, we can just look at the stereochemistry and assign it as is. If the 1, 2, and 3 trace the shape of the letter R, is R. If the 1, 2, and 3 trace the shape of the letter S, it's an S. When the low priority substituent is pointing out of the plane of the paper in the wedge, not in the plane of the paper on a line, but in a wedge, we assign the priority, or we, we read the priority as they are distributed in the molecule. One, two, three takes the shape of an R, and we reverse it because the high priority substituent, the low priority substituent is pointing forward. Another example. Again, we prioritize the substituents. Hydrogen's always number four. We have a carbon versus a carbon versus an oxygen. Oxygen is heavier. We have a carbon with three hydrogens attached. We have a carbon with one hydrogen, one carbon, and remember a double bond we treat like another single bond. So this is a carbon with a carbon and another carbon. That's going to make this a higher priority substituent than that. With the hydrogen in the back where we want it, we can just trace one, two, and three, and that takes the shape of an R. One more example. The chiral center on this molecule is right here. Every other carbon is either not eligible because it's only sp2 hybridized, or it has two of the same substituent on it, which makes it not chiral. So this is our chiral center. We've got a hydrogen on here that's not being shown, and it's a wedge hydrogen. We know that because always with the tetrahedral, we've got one dash, one wedge, and two bonds in the plane of the paper. We want to prioritize these substituents. Hydrogen is always number four. The oxygen is heavier than either of these carbon atoms. To compare these two carbon atoms, they're both right here identical. It's a carbon with uh, two hydrogens, carbon with two hydrogens, and they're both attached to another carbon. So we're going to look at this carbon and prioritize between these two. <clears throat> this carbon is attached to one, two, three, four other carbons. This carbon is attached to one, two, three carbons and a hydrogen. So that's going to make this side of the ring higher priority than this side of the ring. With our low priority substituent as the wedge bond, we're going to look at the stereochemistry the way it is and reverse it. 
So we are in tracing in an R configuration. That makes the stereochemistry an S.